Ayo, YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Wayne6578 bringing you guys Madden 17 tips. And today's tip will be going over how to do Madden 17's fake punt. Now, this is a great play. You can really catch your opponent off guard, but there's a few steps you have to follow before you execute this play. And there are also some personnel changes you have to do to ex execute this play to its best ability. Now the play is going to be in the special teams direct snap pass play. And this is in every playbook. Um, um, we're going to pick the play. Uh, and the formation you would like your opponent to be in is definitely a punt. If your opponent comes out in a defensive formation, it's really hard to execute this play. Um, so I'll go over how you, uh, what you look for when you come out in this fake punt. So we're just going to do a return left. We're going to get some more room. Let's move the ball back. The ball is never in the middle of the field. So let's put the ball on the left or the right hash. Let's put it on the right hash. Okay, so uh, one thing you would like to do is the positions first you're going to be looking for is the fullback position and the free safety position. You're going to be utilizing your fullback to pass the ball and your free safety to catch the ball. Now, when you're looking for your fullback, there's a few attributes you should really pay attention to. For one, throw accuracy. <clears throat> so throw, throw power, and the short throw, medium, and deep throw. So if you look for throw power, we can look through our fullbacks, and we see that on the Chicago Bears, we have Zach Miller with a 70 overall throw power. And the next best throw power is maybe that 38. Yeah, 38 Patrick scales. So we're definitely gonna put Zach Miller in our um, number one spot on that punt position because he has the best throw power. Now, you do wanna look at throw accuracy as far as short, long, and medium. Once you pick your best throw power, you want to go for your short throw accuracy, medium throw, and deep throw. <clears throat> you probably won't be doing deep throws. The way I run this play is your, it's a quick bullet pass, so it's really medium and uh, short. But the deep throw does help. The better accuracy the guy has, the better it is as far as executing this play. But let's look at Zach Miller, man. He's pretty decent. He could actually be a low-budget quarterback for some people. Right here, uh, short throw accuracy 63, medium 61, and deep throw accuracy 57. So this guy's perfect for this play. And those are the tributes you want to look at. If you guys are playing with different teams, you want the throw power to be around 70 and above, and the short, medium, and deep accuracy around 60 and up. So we're also going to be looking at the free safety. He'll be the one catching the ball. So the attributes we want to look for the free safety are the fastest person. We go through the speed and then we want to look for good awareness. And then we want to look for the number one thing is catching. You want the person running out to catch that ball to have the best catching ability of the free safeties. So we'll go through that first. As far as catching, for the Bears, we have 78, Cal Fuller, but he is on the injured reserve, so we cannot use him. And then the next one is we have a 72, DeAndre Hall. And rolling in third, third, maybe Terry Porter. Terry Porter. Okay, so we see our catching is between Terry Porter and DeAndre Hall. Next, we want to look at speed. Who's fastest between Terry Porter and DeAndre Hall? And Terry Porter runs a 88, which is not that fast, but fast enough. And DeAndre Hall runs a... Look at that. Look at that, an 88. So I really would like to put um, Kyle Fuller out there. So they both run the same speed. Kyle Fuller runs a 91. So let's see who has the best awareness. The best awareness out of 
Terry Porter, he's with 81, and DeAndre Hall with 52. So we're going to go with Terry Porter. And then last, we can double check the catching. Terry Porter's catching is 68. DeAndre Hall's 72. So I'm going to go with the awareness over the catching because the catching is not that different. So we're going to put Terry Porter in that position. So that's what you want to look at as far as catching. Good catching around the 70s, 65 and up. Speed, you really want speed to how to execute this play. It helps you execute this play to the best. And then you definitely want awareness. So let's go back and choose the play and do our substitutions. So we're going to go to special teams. Now again, I like to use this if you only if you really need it. Uh, I don't if you're getting really if you're really getting blown out, you definitely can start using it. Uh, but in a close game at the end of the game, man, you don't want to spam this. I'm telling you, it works if you execute it correctly. Don't spam it. The best way to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's pick uh, special teams direct snap pass. But let's go to the substitution. We are fullback. We're going to get Paul out of there and put Zach Miller in there. And then this position right here, your person on the outside of your left of your line, we're going to change him to um, Terry Porter. Tracy Porter, sorry killing this guy's name but you're gonna be throwing with Zach Miller and you're gonna be hitting Tracy Porter all right so let's pick the play direct snap pass and then this is where it's important if the person you're playing comes out in a defensive formation you do not want to run this play there's a great thing in Madden this year that if you come out and fake punt you can always audible back to a regular punt so let's pick a punt play and I'll go over the punt plays that actually work uh, any of the punt returns, the regular ones, punt return left, return middle, return right, they all work correct. The return right is the one that's going to give you trouble. If you look, that guy is going to the right, to the right side of the receiving team. So you're going to be going to that spot. So you have to pay attention to that. So you really want them to come out and return middle or return left. And you'll be able to tell once you snap that ball. So let's pick return left first and right here I just want to show you this that you're gonna be doing a bullet pass to that free safety so we're gonna go through like we're passing the ball as soon as that ball is hiked we're gonna triangle and bullet pass and right there we do an exception so this is where that actually is gonna come into play so this is how you're gonna execute it. you're gonna do a quick bullet pass run through like you're running the punt then pass lead to that to that free safety catch that ball and pick up that first down you get into practice mode practice this you have to pay attention to how they're playing right there just like that as you can see those guys are going back this is a return middle so the guy in the middle of that defense is going right back in the middle and you're just hitting that guy so you can always pick up let's see how many yards you usually pick up on an average so this is some too so we're on the 39, I would say. We're on the 39. And we're picking up about, that's about 15. It's about 15 yards before he gets hit. And you could probably keep it going straight. So about 15 yards. So you don't want to run this unless you know you can pick up at least 15 yards. So if you have more than 15 yards to go, it's going to get kind of hairy. All right, let's do the return right. I'm just going to show you how this guy goes over there to that side. So you have to pass lead it more. You see how that guy's over there? See how uh, that linebacker goes over there? Let's see. You got to get it off quick. You can still pass lead that to the left, but you got to just notice that guy is near you. So because they're returning that ball to the left. But you still, if you pass lead that with a bullet pass, you should have no problem getting that off. And just don't overthrow it. Get into practice mode and practice how to do this. Because I'm overthrowing now. Just take your time. Bullet pass lead to the left. Get it away from that linebacker. That linebacker is not paying attention to you. He's running back there towards that ball. 
bullet pass to the left, right there over through it. Right there. And see, he was still ahead of us and we still got it off. Sometimes, I, I don't know if it really matters, but I like to aim it like I'm going away. And right there, oh. That's where that awareness and that catching is gonna come into play. You gotta make sure you have that. So some teams don't have people that can even do this. I mean, you have to go in there and you have to examine those rosters and look at those attributes and see if they can do it. Right there, we got that first and more. So let's practice against that return middle. And well, one quick thing I wanna tell you guys. Say for you come out in this and then they come out in a different type of defense. All you do is just go to your audibles and you just punt that ball. You punt that ball because if you're in a defense, it's going to be hard to get that off. You just audible to the punt. Everybody in there is the correct personnel you have to punt. So that's a great thing about running this play. Like I said, it's only going to be a, a one-shot-and-done type thing. You wait until you really need it. If you need it, use it. Pick up that first down and keep that, keep that game going. But... Yeah, let's run it with the other the other formation. But I hope you guys can utilize this Madden 17 fake punt to catch these guys off guard. <coughs> but I hope you guys can use this Madden 17 fake punt to catch these guys off guard, pick up those first downs, possibly win some games. Now, don't get me wrong, man. These guys will be pissed off after you run this because I've done it before. You'll see in the gameplay. They get pissed to the highest level of pissed. Let's pick this one right here. Let's pick the, we pick the return left. Let's pick return middle. I just want to show you what these guys, the position that those defenders are in. So this one's just going to probably be a straight bullet pass. You can just bullet pass this while I pick the wrong one. Sorry about that. You're going to triangle all the time. I haven't seen, it's not as easy to go to those other guys. See, look at that. We might take this one to the house. But you really want them to pick that right there. That one, you got that speed. You just keep going with the speed and kind of cut in and then cut back to the left. Let's try to get one. Ah, they're in a different position, but you could possibly take this one to the house. The worst thing they could come out is punt return middle. Because they're just in a position for you to get everything going. And right there, they're catching. That catching. In the game, they catch it more than they drop it in practice. I'll tell you that. Now, uh, other things to be aware of. If they're doing a field goal block, if you don't see those guys that are out there on those gunners, if you don't see those guys, let's, for instance, I'll show you with the field goal block. If you don't see those gunners out there, if you don't see those guys protecting those gunners, switch to punt and punt that ball because they're going to come in too fast and you're not going to be able to block them. But you are doing a quick bullet pass. You want to hike that ball. As soon as that ball is hiked, you want to be pass leading, holding that left analog stick and doing a bullet pass to your receiver. So let's pick this. And then I'll show you this right here. This is what you have to be aware of when they come out in these these right here like the field goal block return or the let's see any of the blocked field goals right here right here straight rush squeeze block these right here let's do the straight rush first as you can see you don't have that Two people out there blocking that gunner, so you have an extra person on the line. It might be they come back there pretty quick, so you have to get that ball off. So just notice that. Oh, we're gonna do you. Oh, go ahead, trace it. Go ahead, trace it. My mom's going to touchdown. Where's my go go girl? That dude put moves on him. Hold on, man. We gotta look at that again. He put the moves on him. This guy broke, broke ankles, taking names. So they come out in this, man. You see 23 is right back there. And he is, this is what I'm saying right here. 
You don't have no one blocking him. You got to get that ball off pretty quick. If you don't, you're going to get smacked in your face. You got that extra person on the line coming, and you're throwing that ball. You got to get it off. So get into practice mode, practice how to do that. But anyway, let's look at this guy. Let's look at this guy. Get funky with him. Look at that. Get your ankles ready. Look at this move right here. Yep. This is not a step. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, you thought I was doing something. Man. ESP in the highlight. Putting the moves on you, baby. That was sweet. Totally did. But anyway, so like I said, when they call those type of plays, unless you want to take the chance and get that ball off, like here, you got that guy coming, man. You got to get it off quick. So I'm already pass leading it, bullet passing it. And that's when you want that awareness and make sure that guy can catch that ball. Right there. And that's not even really, really actually you don't need to pass lead that one. You can just bullet pass that one. Catch the ball and bullet pass it. Try to do them again. We're gonna do it one more time, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you use utilize this to score on your opponents, catch your opponents off guard. Uh, catch your opponents off guard, man. Stay tuned for more great Madden 17 tips. It's your boy Wayne6578. Enjoy the gameplay. Smash that like button if you're gonna utilize this on your opponent. I am out.